If you're a regular viewer, you will have seen me review all kinds of Mercedes before. You've also seen me a few weeks ago review the, Merce the actually not Mercedes, the Ford Mondeo Vignale. That was about 50 grand. This is a Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe AMG spec 220 diesel. This is 52 grand and it actually starts at about 47-ish. Uh, I'm not sure where Ford get their pricing from, but anyway, forget all that because I'm in a very unusual piece of equipment here. I never liked the C-Class Coupe, the original one, I thought it was a terribly awkward car, it never really sat well on its own wheels, it never mm, looked weird, always, the kind of hatchback weird look about it, and then the different lights at the front and stuff. This one though, forget it, this is gorgeous, I think this is properly challenging looks, it really like looks butch and kind of chubby in places and yet it looks lovely. So nitty gritty, I love Mercedes has not put in a touchscreen. I do, I do, it's so manual, the whole thing is run off this one wheel in the middle. Perfect. Works for me, works the street, really happy with that. Picks up everything I've done last. So if I play Spotify and I get out of the car and I get back in the car, Spotify starts playing again from scratch. That doesn't happen a lot with a lot of cars. A lot of time it defaults to Apple Music, which I don't know what I have in Apple Music, not much. I don't subscribe to that. Um, I love the analog clock in the center. I love that this car has nine forward gears. Nine. And it uses them. Get out in the motorway and it, like it's in set. Oh, there's eighth. It went to eighth there. Uh, once in a while it goes into nine when you get out in the motorway. I picked it up. It said I could do 1,100 and something 48 kilometers on a tank of fuel. Still says I can do 843. It's insanely comfortable. It's a tad noisy at speed. I have to say, that could be the tire choice. I'm not sure what's driving that noise there. Could be a tire problem, but just a tad, not terrible. Right now, we're cruising along, it's absolutely fine. We have these new dynamic or dynamism things that go on about in, in uh, press releases. So I'm in comfort at the moment. I can go to Eco. Eco really, really dulls the whole car down completely. And it's designed to do that. So it's designed to get maximum efficiency from what you're trying to do. Then you have comfort, which turns on everything is normal. Just kind of, you know, it softens everything up, but it's still, everything's running, including air conditioning. Then you get sport, which toughens up. It improves the throttle response. If you had air suspension, it would make it a bit a bit tighter in here. Then you have Sport Plus, which really changes the gear mapping, changes everything inside the car, becomes much more lively, much more ready for the flappy paddle box. And then you flip up into individual, which means you can set it up for yourself to do whatever you wanted to do. Um, I really kind of like comfort. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't really need a reason for sport. The steering is perhaps a little bit too responsive, just coming off about 45 degrees away from top dead center. So once you start to turn, it's fine, but once you actually improve and really adjust, it starts to turn in tighter and tighter and tighter on every journey. It's kind of a Mercedes thing, but it's perhaps a little bit too finicky, just a little bit too, too ready to, uh, to turn right or turn left very quickly. Interior, this color is to die for. Beautiful, beautiful interior, second to none. Really happy with the entire interior experience of the car. Um, there's very little I dislike about this Mercedes. I, I find it, sometimes I find it very easy to attack Mercedes because they do something challenging, something different, something unusual. And everybody goes, why are you doing this? Why aren't you the same as the rest of the Germans? Well, I don't want it to be the same as the rest of the Germans because that puts them into the realm of Audi and BMW. And well, you know, BMW are really good. Audi's kind of boring at the moment as well. But at least Mercedes is trying something different. And this is different. 
As I said, a range kind of begins in around the mid 40s part. If you need the four doors, the seat glass is there, looks kind of similar to this, completely loses the look at the back of this. This has a much be be better rear end. My kids fit happily inside the cabin here in the back seats. Two doors, meh. Boot, meh. No shopping bag hooks. Don't say I didn't warn you. You know what I'm like with shopping bag hooks. I know it's a coupe. Me, 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 me. Cuneus. Uh, <laughs> I know it is. Um, I don't care. I still want shopping bag hooks in a boot. If you enjoyed this review of the Mercedes-Benz C-Class Coupe, this 52,000 euro car that I brought to you on YouTube, please subscribe. Please subscribe and share and like and love each other much times. Until the next time, I will see you on the far side.